The Morrison government is preparing for its first week of parliament, but the brutal aftershocks of Malcolm Turnbull's downfall are still being felt. Liberal MPs arriving back in the capital tonight are confronting questions over what discipline should be meted out to party room bullies. National Affairs correspondent Greg Jennett is at Parliament House. We'll get back to discipline now and uh, we'll get back to good government. Gone is the anguish of August. It was uh, a stupidity. But it happened. We did lose some skin and now we've got to go about re-preparing our skin. In its place, a yearning for a September of serenity. I think we'll uh, do very well this next couple of weeks. But the sitting weeks ahead are hostage to those of the past. Few no, Liberals can escape it. They need to be fingered and they need to be held accountable for their actions. Some don't even try. The whole leadership change and spill took its toll on my colleagues. Claims of bullying and standover tactics to get votes and signatures in the leadership spill are unresolved. So help me God. They threaten to spill onto the public record and have already convinced one Liberal to quit altogether at the next election. Off we go. We've got work to do. With his cabinet, the Prime Minister will scrap policy to take the pension age to 70 and formally trash legislation to lock emissions cuts into law to the bemusement of the man who wrote the plan. You got the policy through your party room three times. We did. With significant numbers. We did. And it's dead. It, it, and it is. Troublesome policies died with the Turnbull government and so did some trust in politics. The depth of that dive in faith is still being measured, but the early signs for the coalition are grim. The only electoral contest since the antics here in Canberra was that weekend state by-election in Wagga Wagga. And the Prime Minister, for one, has been eager to interpret what voters there were saying to federal Liberals. Did you say, uh, look mate, uh, the fact that you guys had that spill sort of stuffed us up in this by-election? It's fair to say we have a very uh, open and honest and frank relationship and he, uh, he and I are in lockstep with each other. The thumping anti-Liberal swing in his home state can only complicate Scott Morrison's options for placing the next election on a crowded calendar. It has to be held by Saturday the 18th of May. But a clear run's hard to find for a five-week campaign. Going late hits the Easter weekend. So does calling it immediately after the New South Wales state election. There's a gap in February or March, but that means crashing a campaign over the top of New South Wales. Christmas, New Year and summer holidays are out, and sneaking it in this year? Ultra tight if the Victorian election's to be avoided. There's no space between it and Christmas, and little between now and then either. Whenever the date, the campaigning's begun. We do not rely on the negatives of the Liberals flowing into a vote for us. Labor may not rely on it, but they'll take it all the same. Greg Jennett, ABC News, Canberra.